Hello, welcome to Alchemy Def's Plays. I want to do something different uh, today. I'm going to be checking out Skinwalker Ranch, a uh, hotspot for uh, unexplained phenomena, paranormal activity, uh, extraterrestrial activity, um, the kind of thing they would talk about on uh, last podcast on the left. That kind of thing, floating orbs and, and whatnot. And I know this is a flight simulator. None of that's going to be simulated. But I thought we'd pop over and, and just see what we could see. It might be interesting. Um, so I have this manned drone. Which is really handy because cause we'll really be able to get in there and just kind of, you know, poke around and, and uh, take our time with things. Whereas in, in a normal plane, you have to keep at speed uh you know to see you, you fly over things you miss things but with a drone like this you get right down in in into stuff so um i can't remember the name of the strip we're taking off at i think it's duchesne but it's pretty nearby uh the um the ranch I also don't normally do night flights uh, because the, the whole concept of, of, of the uh, flight simulator streams in my mind is to be able to look at things and comment on them and we're still doing that today uh, but um, it's going to be largely in the dark which is going to be interesting and uh, it worked out where this is uh, uh, accurate uh, time. This is a real time model, real weather model. Everything is accurate right now uh, as, as it is actually occurring in Utah uh, near the ranch. Um, real time weather modeling and all that. So everything's turned on. We're going full force here. Got my chocolate milk. So this road down here, um, it kind of loops up towards the northeast, and then it turns straight east, and then the uh, the ranch is just south of that road. Okay, so I have a waypoint set. So take a little, a little bit to get to. Um, <laughs> just because you know this, this isn't the uh, the fastest vehicle in the world. But uh, it seems like the proper vehicle for for our purpose today. Always drinking chocolate milk. I'm hooked on this <clears throat> Promised Land brand of chocolate milk. Um, it's really thick and creamy. It's very good. Um, I like the strawberry flavor. But the chocolate is also very good. In fact, chocolate milk is usually usually my default, but the Promised Land Strawberry is really good. Alright, so I've seen a couple documentaries and whatnot uh, about Skinwalker Ranch. Um, and uh, there's there's a few... I, I, I probably won't be able to pick them out, 
but there's a there's like a ridge that a lot of stuff happens on and um There's like a, I wouldn't call it a network of caves. Obviously, we won't be able to check that out from the air, but there's definitely some caves around. Um, but, you know, most of, most of what would concern us in, in uh, this particular instance would be skyward. Uh, and uh, we are rocking the right kind of vehicle to perform this type of investigation. Do you see all this, um, all these kind of, uh, um, trails and, and, uh, barren hills? Uh, this is where people, uh, would, uh, drive out and investigate. Have a bit of a reservoir here. I did a, I did a flight through Arizona and Nevada. Uh, before replicating Penn and Teller's desert bus but in a plane and I was struck with how incredibly barren and dry it all was out out here so um, you, you got to see like these reservoirs and stuff um, you know <laughs> moisture farms if you will uh, for humans to even be able to live out here is is really incredible. And we can see Yeah, we can see I don't even see the sun, so it's definitely dipping below the horizon. Um So yeah, sunset should be soon. So we definitely got out here in the right time. This is exactly when we want to be starting our Skinwalker Ranch investigation. And I'll probably land near the, uh, the ranch and uh, kind of get my bearings. I don't know how long we're going to be investigating. Um, this is kind of an experiment. Uh, my series with the flight simulator has been largely experimental uh, in the first place, but <laughs> this even more so. So this right here, I think, is the ridge that people set up cameras uh, to the south of. And then they point up at the ridge and they see all kind of lights and everything. And I think it's not, it's not a, a point of interest in, or registered as a point of interest in the flight simulator. But I think I pinpointed the ranch pretty well with my own custom waypoint. So you can kind of see, let me, let me lose some altitude here. You can kind of see some structures down there at the bottom of my waypoint. And that's going to be the ranch proper. So we're going to drop some altitude here. This thing moves kind of slow. It should be easier to drop altitude, but it really kind of functions quite slowly. 
I suppose it has to because um, all these rotors are designed to uh, to keep a balance, and if you, uh, if you if you make it move around too quickly, you're going to lose that balance. It's a very precariously built machine. Yeah, yeah, that's about as fast as we can go down, which is surprising. So, I'm, I might not make a full landing, but we're going to get down to about 200 feet. Pretty sizable lake to the north over there. Alright, so this here is the ranch, and this this stretch here, uh, to the east and west, that's the ridge. And people, like I said, people set up south of the ridge, and um, get all kinds of footage, uh, you know, of, of UFOs and whatnot. Still dropping altitude. Yeah, see, our altitude's based on sea level, so... Um, we're definitely not 5,000 uh, <laughs> feet uh, above these buildings, but... Yeah, so so here's the... Uh, here's the ranch. I know they have a couple of, of uh, outer buildings, uh, which I don't, I don't see on the map. I, I suppose that might be one of them there. I think there's another one like down the road. I don't know which road. It could be it could be back there even. Alright, let me turn around here. A blue light coming off of that uh that building down there. That is kind of strange, isn't it? I've seen a blue light inside of that uh, that farmhouse. I've played a lot of this flight simulator. I've never seen anything like that before. We got a car coming out. Up, oh, turn around. <laughs> he he noped the heck out of there. So yeah, that is strange. And I see a light right there to the left too. I suppose that's meant to represent a street light, but it does kind of just look like a floating orb, doesn't it? Come around the other side. If you're just joining the stream, we're checking out Skinwalker Ranch. This is the uh, the ranch proper. This uh, this drone gets a little crazy in the air. Like it kind of just kind of slides around. You have to counter counter steer uh, in in uh, matter of speaking. <laughs> Not something I expected. I, I don't have a lot of experience piloting this thing yet. But, um... It is an interesting challenge. So, so again, this is, the, this is the ridge. I'm trying to imagine where people would set their cameras up to record this ridge. Um, probably... They're probably set up right around over there. big field here so there's a lot of a lot of places to uh, set up an investigation
So we're pretty close to sunset proper. You can see the stars starting to come out. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna kind of land over here and just kind of take in this, uh, this ridge. Get my counter steer. And this thing comes down real slow. But like I said, I'm sure that's by design. Okay. Cockpit view here. So yeah, this definitely looks like the ridge I've seen in, in various documentaries. So this is probably where people park, uh, uh, you know, set up their gear and uh, pull out the cameras and whatnot. It's a nice sunset. All right, and we can see the night starting to creep in. Let's take a look at the sky. You know, again, I know this is just a flight simulator, so we're not actually going to see any UFOs. But um, just coming out here and investigating the ranch, I think, is uh, it's a bit of fun, and it gives me an excuse to to pilot this uh, this drone, which is something I haven't really done in any great measure yet. So that's rather exciting. Let's do the cockpit view again. I kind of like. Uh, I normally don't don't do the cockpit view, but I kind of like it in the drone. It's quite um, quite surreal. Just hovering and not moving at all, just hovering completely in place. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can find any points of interest. Since we're out here anyway. Let's do a flyby over this, uh, this little lake, this little, uh, Probably a man-made reservoir. There's not a lot of natural lakes out here on account of it being so dry. I would imagine that this is some kind of reservoir on account of being so so close to uh, a crop field. I never know what kind of crops these are. These big circular uh, crop fields. Out here it might be like wheat or maybe corn. Uh, Cornfields tend to be square, so I don't know, maybe wheat, I guess. We have another uh, another building out here. I know that Skinwalker Ranch has a couple of like uh, satellite buildings for uh, various concerns, but this looks like this looks like a whole kind of little. Uh, What kind of little, uh, not really a village. This may or may not be connected to uh, Skinwalker Ranch proper. I think I think they only have a few buildings outside of the uh, the main one, or for all I know, that could be the main building. That actually does look more like what I've seen on documentaries. Maybe that's the main building. They have a circular drive, so I would imagine that would uh, that would work well for uh, 
cars to kind of come in and and uh, you know set up their their base of operations and and spin around back out the other way. Let's get a little lower. Really poke our nose into uh, <laughs> into these people's business. Yeah, everything about about this uh, this vehicle has to be like countered. It's very interesting. Uh, you can't just uh, like take your your thumb off of the. Uh, uh, you know the the stick here, and have it centered. You have to recenter it constantly. Always counter steering. So yeah, that this this uh, this might actually be the the ranch proper. It's hard to tell. It's not where my waypoint was, but this looks a little more a little more like what I've seen documentaries and again <laughs> I have to laugh at the uh, the floating orbs if we're out here uh, looking for uh, UFOs we have a floating orb right here let's get in the cockpit and see how close we can get to it Yeah, it's that counter steering. So this is obviously meant to be representative of a street light, but when you get this close to it, it does just kind of look like a floating orb. If we get close enough to it, maybe we can get it to pop inside of the, ah, the cockpit. Wow, this is tricky. <laughs> this, this piloting this thing is like doing these these fine maneuvers is very tricky. This thing wants to just slide all over the place. You know, it's about it's about small adjustments. Let me take one more pass at it. I want to get like face to face with this thing. Taking it slow, making small adjustments. A little lower. There we go. And it's in the cockpit. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, there's your uh, there's your floating orbs, your ball lightning, as it were. Let's go back to the ranch proper. I think that's. Uh, I don't know. I'm still. I'm still thinking this over here is the ranch proper. We've seen some other buildings, but I really feel like this is the ranch proper over here.
and again we have that blue light shining in uh, in the back of that building kind of a eerie glow and then this is what I believe is the ranch proper Let's uh, let's turn our eyes to the sky and we'll see if we can see anything. We'll keep looking around on the ground too, because um, there's always interesting things to see. Speaking of which, I see kind of an odd coloration next to that lake over there. I want to go check it out. It could be nothing, could just be a bank of sand, but... Yeah, it looks like it might just be a sand bank. Yeah, okay. See, I'm on the lookout now. <laughs> now let's gain some altitude over this... Oh, <laughs> I saw... I saw something pop up. I was like, oh my god, what was that? Yeah, that, that right there, I thought something shot up real quick. It was just my waypoint. <laughs> I'm really buying into this narrative I've created for myself. You get yourself in that headspace and you start seeing things. I'll go up maybe another 500 feet and... Uh, Hover around for a bit, and we'll see what we can see. I'm drifting. So, there's a cave in here somewhere. I know that much. In, inside of this ridge. It seems like we probably have a, a place over here that... Uh, in between these two mounds that they could probably drive up and through. So I would imagine the cave is probably behind there somewhere. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to find the cave because, you know, this is a flight sim, not a spelunking game. But, uh, yeah, you can probably, you can see where they probably drive up through here between these two mounds. Okay. Let me kind of get down there and see. So I would imagine that they they probably drive up here through between these two mounds and then follow uh, follow this ridge in a kind of valley. And then it seems to terminate up here. And this seems to be the highest point of that ridge. And it seems more uh, more of a concretion than uh, the other areas. So I would imagine that if there is a cave, it would be around here. That would be my guess. And we have some interesting uh, geography over here. Kind of some strange mounds. Strange discoloration. Kind of snaking its way through these hills. Could be some kind of mineral deposit. Or maybe lack of mineral. kind of uh, undulating landscape out here. Probably dangerous to hike this area. I 
All right. I want to gain some altitude again. I said I was going to do that before and never did, so let's get back up there. And again, this is uh, this is in real time. This is uh, accurate uh, depiction of weather and time in Utah. And I, you know, I mean, this is like probably the tenth um, flight simulator stream that I've done, but I'm still very impressed by that. The the like the weather. The weather systems and all that being so on point, I, I find it very impressive. And you can just fly any, anywhere in the world like this is, is really quite something. So the sun is pretty much set at this point. of uh, random buildings down there that who knows uh, if there's families in there or the satellite buildings off of the uh, the main ranch and we have this huge kind of swath of uh, I don't know like barren landscape almost desert like can see where where some structures used to be or maybe st staging areas for uh, farm equipment and what's this over here this is strange let's see what this is this is near one of those uh, crop fields so this could just be um, I don't know, like grain storage or something. Well, let's pop down and take a closer look. That's what this is all about. Yeah, that looks like it's probably just grain storage. It doesn't even look like it's been uh, 3D modeled. It looks like this is probably just like a static... Uh, satellite photograph that I'm flying over. <laughs> um, some of the stuff has been 3D modeled, some of it hasn't. This looks like one of the things that hasn't. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, uh, AI drives the uh, construction of buildings and whatnot in this flight simulator. It seems strange that it wouldn't pick up such a distinct row of them and uh, and gen generate those assets, but well, it didn't. It missed that one. So yeah, we have a huge uh, kind of sprawling landscape of of uh, barren nothingness. I would imagine that this is probably the kind of place that uh, you know you'd set up your 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 van with all the equipment inside and get your cameras and everything set up and pointed at these uh, horizons and try to catch something. We have a little little structure here. That's going to be... Uh, I don't think it's just a house, just a regular house. Maybe it isn't the time of year for uh, whatever crops they would be growing around here, but yeah, that looks just like a regular, regular old farmhouse. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they even bothered to render the vents in the attic space. Whoa, I just kind of dropped out. That's weird. What happened? That is weird. I can't, I can't, I can't start my, I can't start my engine. That is pretty weird. I, I was watching, um, uh, the Osbournes want to believe with Jack Osborne and, and Ozzy Osbourne and everything. And he, he said he was investigating, uh, um, this ranch and he was trying to fly a drone over it and it just fell out of the sky. Same thing just happened to me. I mean, his was an unmanned drone and mine was a manned drone, but I, I don't know what happened. Even my control panel turned off. It, everything went black. That is super weird. That is really strange. I have the controls set up to uh, inoperative. I do have the controls set up to be largely independent of uh, like all this very technical uh, controls. Uh, so I should just be able to push A and take off and it's not working. I wonder if my autopilot's working. Let's try the autopilot. Where is my... Oh, I... do I have autopilot toggled off? Hold on a second. Custom toolbar. Oh, maybe this drone doesn't have autopilot. You know, that kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. It's just not, it's just dead. It's completely dead. Well, I mean, I got to tell you, I, I didn't know what was going to happen when I started this stream. And it's only been 40 minutes. And I hate to call it that early, but I think I got what I came for. I mean, that's really bizarre. It just dropped out. All right. Thanks for watching the stream. See you next time.